we were asked to determine how the equation was constructed using the variable as the starting point. In this video, we will look at the construction of the equation six times the quantity x plus four equals five, as well as the construction of the equation seven eighths x minus eight equals three. Going back to the first equation, we want to describe the construction process starting with the variable. So looking inside the parentheses, notice how we have x plus four because we have x plus four, the variable x is increased by four for the first step in the construction process. So we say x is increased by four. Again, that gives us the expression x plus four, but then notice how we have six times the quantity x plus four, which means the sum of x and four is now multiplied by six for step two. So we say step two, the sum, from step one is multiplied by six. After multiplying by six, notice how we have the entire left side of the equation, and therefore now we know the product from step two, or the result, is five. So let's say the result, or we can say product from step two is five. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, we have the equation seven eighths x minus eight equals three. Beginning with the variable, seven eighths x means seven eighths times x, and therefore the first step is x is multiplied by seven eighths. Step one gives us this term then notice how we have minus eight, which means this product is decreased by eight, which is step two of the construction process. So for step two, we say the product from step one is decreased by eight. After we decrease the product by eight, notice how once again we have the entire left side of the equation and therefore we can say the result, or the difference from step two, is three. So we say the result, or difference, is three. I hope you found these two examples helpful.